Hello amazing people, thank you for stopping by. My name is Ogechi and this is Ogechi Reaction. Um, if you are seeing my face for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Do also like this video, share, subscribe before you go any further and do also watch to the end of this video. Why? Because I would love to know your opinion. Just, don't just watch and leave. Make sure you watch, you like, make sure you watch and subscribe, make sure you watch and drop your comments, okay? Do this and we are friends. Even if you don't do that, we are still friends, okay? And for my returning subscribers or returning viewers, thank you so much. I, re I really appreciate your um your presence on my channel it means a lot to me as a newbie in the block okay so this video is from nakish from nak news i love his news they're usually short interesting very important insightful and nice in all ramifications <laughs> anyway so this video is from dark news it's titled biden's new political aid rex obama and pelosi hmm let's see what they've got to say here this is the guy who doesn't care about science and reason. Remember, during the pandemic, Donald Trump told us to inject them ourselves with bleach. He said there's nothing to worry about if you do that. That was a clip from Biden's latest campaign ad, which he shared on social media and is still up on YouTube. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish, and it looks like the Biden campaign wasn't content with their out-of-touch fried chicken ad because they recently decided to one-up it by creating what can only be described as what it must feel like to take acid and wander around a historical wax museum. This whole thing is deeply bizarre. It was called the National Organizing Call with President Joe Biden President Barack Obama, and Speaker Emerita, Nancy Pelosi. They tried to pass it off as a live event, but it was pre-recorded and stitched together because, of course, Biden needed multiple takes in order to just get through the thing. Truth was, he was actually hiding out in Delaware all weekend on another one of his vacations, but uh, boy, oh boy, did he leave us with a treat, because this thing is bad. So all Americans, not just seniors, pay $35 a month, have a $2,000 cap for prescription drugs. I want to make those $800 ACA per savings permanent. Meanwhile, Donald Trump is about the past and serving himself. This is the guy who doesn't care about science and reason. Remember, during the pandemic, Donald Trump told us to inject them ourselves with bleach. He said there's nothing to worry about if you do that. Now Trump keeps telling us he's going to terminate the ACA. Think about what that means. It would mean 100 million Americans with pre-existing condition would lose their health care coverage. It would mean young people would be kicked off their parents' coverage. Tens of millions of Americans will lose health care coverage as a consequence of all that. He wants to get rid of the power of Medicare to negotiate lower prescription drug prices, driving up cost of insulin back to $400 instead of $35 for seniors. And Trump recently said Social Security and Medicare, quote, there's a lot you can do in terms of cutting, end of quote. You know, I'm just, I'm just going to stop here. Uh, what, what, what is this? Who, who told them to do this? Are the impractical jokers somewhere off camera whispering into his earpiece? I mean, we all know politicians lie, but Democrats have really just given up trying at this point, haven't they? I shouldn't need to say this, but the Trump bleach thing has been debunked multiple times, even by some liberal news outlets. And can we just take a moment to stop and savor the production of this whole thing? Frankly, I don't know if it's hilarious or terrifying that the people running the government thought this was good enough to publish. Remember, by the way, this was pre-recorded, so these are the best takes that they had. I mean, I'm not prone to conspiracy theories or anything, but this video does seem an awful lot like what lizard people would make if they were pretending to be human. Ignore for a second that they're all standing like a geriatric boy band, and pay attention to what Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> doing here. W what is that? Are her dentures falling out? Did nobody catch that? And that's not to mention how bad the editing was for this whole thing. Just look at this clip, it goes from awkward wide shots to close-ups, with huge leaps in volume, like he's doing a public access show or the morning announcements at a junior high school. We'd never have gotten the Affordable Care Act done, period. I called it a historic day. No one knows that better than the greatest speaker in the history of the United States House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi. Now, to his credit, the whole thing wasn't bad. Towards the end, Biden gave one of his famous patriotic calls for unity that we all love, and uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's something I think we all need to hear during these trying times. You're the reason I've never been more optimistic about our future. We just remember who we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing but the capacity of the United States when we do it together. 
So true. So true. We are the United States America, guys. And there's nothing we can't do when we come together as the United States America. Okay? But let me know what you think. Did you find Biden's campaign ad hilarious or terrifying? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Boy! <laughs> what do you guys think about this campaign ad? <laughs> I think it was poorly edited. It feels like it was not Biden talking. It feels like, it feels like, I don't know. <laughs> According to Nurkish, he said it, it, it was actually poorly edited. And then Pelosi and his other aide standing close to him are like military people. They're just standing at attention. <laughs> and then the Trump conversation with um the bleach i i, I have i mean it's been debunked several times so keep you keep saying that it's like what, what are you talking about well it's been debunked okay it's been debunked what are you talking about think talk about something else <laughs> i mean it I, to me it is hilarious okay it's not it is hilarious to be honest the whole um campaign ad i feel like if this is the best they could come out come up with um the campaign manager needs to be sat okay because this i mean it looks like it doesn't look like he's the one doing it's not it doesn't call it doesn't look natural right it doesn't look natural if you ask me it doesn't look i mean they should have they should have done better with the whole um video and even with the editing and then these people and then pelosi and um the other aide you know they should have I mean, it doesn't even look natural. That's what I think about it. And according to this video, so I don't think I'm the only one that feels this way. But let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Let me know about what you think. Let me know what you think about it. What, what do you also think about the Trump conversation with the, with the bleach? Has it been debunked? I heard it's been debunked. So talk, keep talking. You keep talking about it. Seem like, okay, okay. Can we hear something different? Can we hear something different, right? It's been debunked, so please talk about something else. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think in the comment section. Don't go without subscribing. Don't go without liking. Don't go without um, um, sharing this video. Um, it will mean a lot to me. It will mean the whole world to me. Yes, I mean it. The whole world. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching today's part of the video. I'll see you in my next episode. Bye-bye.